And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys in a ride. ride. And oh my gosh, Nathan, we are here yeah. with some fantastic folks. And today we are at Idle Ridge in uh, right outside of St. Cloud, Minnesota. And we are with Jim and Brenda. And they're gonna share with us some of their fantastic collection of memorabilia, gas pumps. Uh, we've got a cool boat, we've got a terraplane, we've got a Dodge Coronet, we've got a Corvette. And I'd say something, but and Rob I'm not letting stop. him because I'm so excited. <laughs> but folks, it's we, fantastic, you're gonna love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going on and on because I'm so excited. But just keep watching and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Yes, you uh, are. Take a moment, hit that red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel so you never miss uh, a video and hit that bell notification. And if you like what you see, give us a like, give us a thumbs up and leave some comments down below if you'd like to see more. So what do you say folks? Nathan, let's, let's take a ride. ride. All right. Nathan with two guys in a ride and today I'm here at Idle Ridge with Brenda and Brenda is married to Jim who you saw earlier on a video and uh, but Brenda has a spectacular story about this 1966 Dodge Cornette. So Brenda tell us the story about behind this car. Okay so this car um, Jim had a friend restore it a number of years ago it was in a basket and the guy knew what he had. So Jim uh, paid to the parts and everything and our friend Mike Killian did the work and he put the okay. car together. Uh, one Saturday we were downstairs cleaning up the parking garage and uh, taking all the cars for a ride up and down the road just to run them, run them a little yep. bit. And uh, we got in this car and I was rubbing on the seat and I was saying, oh, I just love this car. Okay. And so Jim looked at me and he said, okay, honey, this is your car. You can have it. I'm going to give it to you. You can take it to car shows and things like that. So this became my car. I like to call it my Thelma and Louise car. Oh, yeah. Oh, like. I like that. Yeah. And one Friday night um, in November of 2014, I came home from work, and um, Jim was downstairs, and he scurried up from the basement. And I thought, what on earth is he doing down there? And he said, well, we left the trickler on a different car. And I said, okay, so let's go down and check it. And I said, all right. So we came and... We got in this car and he said, let's go for a ride in your car. And so we were sitting in there and just being silly with the snowstorm going on outside. And um, 
he was looking down and then he said, honey, I love you very much. And I said, I love you too. And he lifted his head up and he had tears in his eyes. And he said, can I ask you a question? And I said, yeah, I thought maybe he wanted a kidney or something like that. <laughs> and uh, he said, will you marry me? And I said, yes, I would marry you. And um, he said, now you need to look in the console. And I said, well, what's in there? And he said, you need to look. So I opened it and inside the console was a piece of paper and a box. And I said, there's a piece of paper in a box. He said, you don't want the paper, get the box. And I said, okay. And I picked it up and inside was a, an engagement ring. And so he oh, proposed wow. to me in this car. So this one will never leave our oh, collection. Oh, fantastic story. So we were um, talking about and planning on getting married on June 20th of 15. Okay. And uh, that spring, Jim just started to not feel real well and um, was having some medical issues and uh, was diagnosed with congestive heart failure in February. We knew that there were some things we needed to have done, uh, but we were going to do it in the fall. Well, on May 31st of 2015, he went into complete heart failure. Um, went to St. Cloud Hospital, was there for three days, then was airlifted down to the University of Minnesota. And he was implanted with an LVAD on June 10th. So his, his four-year birthday is coming up this next week. Um, and when he finally came out of the coma and then realized what day it was, it was about the 13th or 14th of June when he finally was coherent enough to understand the day, he looked at me and he said, well, what about the nuptials? And I said, everything's on hold, nothing's canceled, but if you really had cold feet, we could have had a cup of coffee and a conversation. We didn't have to go quite this far with it. So um, everything happened, or we got married two days shy of one year later. So, as and he would say. 450 of our closest friends. 450 of wow. our closest friends. What a story. Up at Idle Ridge. What a story. What is your wow. favorite uh, thing about this car, Brenda, other than it's a beautiful red convertible? My gosh, I mean. I like the way it drives, I like the way it sounds. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's got okay. a little muffler. It's got a nice little verbal to it. Yeah, so, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Along with the memories which associated with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Brenda, thank you so much for sharing with us. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you.